Welcome back to the realest place on the platform where we keep all things the beans and address the facts in between. It's your girl Rachel Nicole and today I wanted to give you guys the tea on this hair, review my hair, and address the controversy. So if you're new here or a returning sub, I'll give you a few seconds to grab your snacks, tea, and I appreciate you like this video before we get rolling. review and I'll dive into why I chose this brand for my hair. So I chose this, what is this, this Free Trust pre cloth synthetic braiding hair and it's a jumbo pack okay so you get three different packs of hair in it but it's supposed to be just one color right so I got three different jumbo packs and they each had different colors of blonde so like I had a regular blonde, I don't know if y'all can see that, I had like a little I don't know, a light brown and a, a super blonde right there. And this is the leftover hair that I had. So, And I'm not going to lie, for this almost a four week old braiding hair, let's be real sis, I am pretty satisfied with this. It's holding up well. And also, did I mention that each jumbo pack is under $10? Like, it was really cheap, but the quality was there, and I am so satisfied with that. So let's get on to the description of what is included with this hair. So it is heat safe, it's pre-stretched, antibacterial, it's hot water setting, tangle free, easy to manage, and I'm gonna be honest, I purchased that hair at my local hair store, however, I'm gonna leave a link down below to an Amazon link. It might be an affiliate. I don't know. If it's an affiliate link, I hope y'all support me because I still haven't gotten any coins yet off YouTube, sis, and I've been doing this for almost eight months, so I gotta really appreciate some support, you feel me? Now let's talk about these bad boys and why I got them, how I maintain them, and my box braiding experience. So I originally had an obsession with braids for well over four years. I was also fascinated by braiding hairstyles because you can also use them to help your hair grow, and I just think that's crazy that it not only helps your hair grow, but your hair on fleek. And to me, the accessories are just the icing on the cake. Like, I just think decorated braids are the most absolute prettiest hairstyle on the planet. And I just feel as though braids deserve way more recognition than a typical white girl with highlights or something. Just saying. I also love the idea that how unique each braided hairstyle can be and if y'all aren't aware already, I'm going to be having some mixed kids here in the future because I feel as though it's really important to embrace this culture instead of shrugging it off the old shoulder like a lot of women of my complexion. And also my final point is I just don't see the hype about white girl hair. And I know that's in a popular opinion, but I'm just keeping it real. Mainly because growing up, all the girls around me had straight hair, and I figured, alright, I'm like the only girl with thick, blonde, curly hair, right? So I just straightened my hair a lot as a little girl growing up, and by the time I was in 8th grade, my hair was going through the worst heat damage phase of my whole life, and I figured, alright, well... High school, I'm just going to do what I can to rebuild it, help it grow healthy, because having tried crispy ends are just not cute. They're not. So cut them off, sis. Cut off your dead ends. No, <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to maintain my 2 and 3B curls, and I just started to get really fascinated with the curly texture itself and I wanted to be able to take care of my hair and make it as healthy as I possibly could. And on top of that, I just didn't want to be like everybody else around me. Like, nah, I'm cool off all that. I want to start embracing me for what I have and just because everybody else has straight hair, like, I don't care if people are going to look at me funny because I have curly hair. Like, sis, I love it. I think the curls are beautiful. But I gotta keep it a B with you guys. I was hesitant on getting braids 
for two reasons. One, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret because your girl over here has not gotten her hair done in well over a year. So I wasn't looking forward to dropping 150 or more to get braids, you feel me? And on top of that, I was also nervous if my head was gonna be itchy. I never had braids, so I'm thinking, what if I itch my head too hard and these drawings fall apart? I'm gonna be upset, I'm gonna be livid, I'm gonna be punching air, like, <laughs> and also another thing that was kind of humorous to me is I just watched so many box braid videos on different YouTubers channels and all the time all I see in the comment section is women bicker and back and forth oh should you wash your box braids oh no you shouldn't wash them da 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 well at the end of the day sis this is just me speaking, but personally me, I think that's kind of nasty to just have braids in your hair for up to a month or longer and you don't wash them at all. Now, I am mindful to the fact that a lot of women with 4C hair have to, like, I guess not wash their hair because apparently the braid might slip out. You guys can let me know if that's facts or not in the comments. I'm just going based off of my own research at this point, so I am mindful to that. But me, I gotta be real with myself because your girl goes to the gym, I take care of myself, I make sure that I'm in shape. But at the end of the day, dealing with all that sweaty, nasty feeling on your hair, like, I'm not allowing that build up, sis. Uh-uh, we are cutting that off quick. So, I mean, I took care of my hair and I'm about to show you guys some of the products that I used slash use it like for me i just need some cleanliness in my life and when you have box braids the maintenance is actually really easy and you don't need to spend an arm and a leg at the store sis you can hit up your local tj maxx and find all of the products you need so let me start off with my first bad boy the tgin moisture rich sulfate free shampoo i got a tj maxx if you can see the sticker there but like I said, like you can get all this stuff for the low. It has all this good stuff in it. Another thing that I got, I got this premium pumpkin seed oil by Shea Moisture at TJ Maxx again. So I made sure to invest in a decent quality hair oil for my hair so that my scalp is not itchy 24 seven. Like I said, the itchiness is probably one of my biggest fears about getting braids. So I needed to make sure that I invested in some products that are going to stop all that problems. So this turban, you can get this at the dollar stores, honey. Go to the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree got you. Or if you're feeling fancy, you can go to TJ Maxx and sis, like sometimes they got this super cool turbans. Like, I don't even know, this is a studio dry turban that I got for like $3 at TJ Maxx it's possible to ball on a budget. Of course, you can just get this at your local Dollar Tree. This is just a spray bottle. So, you know, you just, you know I'm saying, spray in, massaging the shampoo, all that fun stuff. So that's pretty much how I've been taking care of the braids. Now, here's the tea on my first box braid experience because this did not go how I expected. So let me tell you all the story, right? So I, like I said, I'm not trying to drop 150 or more on my hair. I'm sorry at that point. I'd rather just keep that money in my pocket So your girl did her digging on Groupon and came across a deal for $65 and I was like hmm $65 that sounds pretty cool Okay, I'm gonna give it a go. But the thing is it was for crochet braids and mind you this is my first like braid experience so I did not know the difference between like pre-stretched synthetic hair or crochet braids. I thought box braids and crochet braids are the same thing. Now they have crochet box braids but I didn't know the difference. I'm thinking that I can just show up with my big old bundles of hair and things are going to be cool so <laughs> little did I know right. So I show up and due to my ignorance, the girl was looking at me like I had five heads when I walked in. I was just like, what do you mean? Uh, isn't this crochet braids? Like, can I get the box braids? And she was like, but they're not crochet braids. They're just, this is just pre-stretched hair. And I was like, well, sis, you didn't specify that they're like, I'm new to this. I'm sorry. Like, I, I thought this is what it was. Okay, I apologize. So she, she did it. 
she braided my hair. She was actually really cool about it, and I'm so thankful to God for that, honestly, because I just felt like a complete idiot in the hair store at first. I'm not even gonna hold you, but I'm just so glad it worked out because I am so satisfied with these. And you know, you know how long it took her to do the braids? So it took her three hours to braid my hair. And sis, you already know how long my natural hair is. So when she did this in three hours, I was beyond impressed. I was so grateful for that. And the experience is pretty good. Like the only thing though that I wasn't happy about, and this is something that nobody talks about on YouTube. So I'm wondering, am I the only one who just was not aware of what's going on? Which might be the case, but um, so every time she was done boiling my hair, I had my hair in um, a towel to stop it up, right? Well, my pants were soaked still. It looked like I <laughs> dang near eat my pants, to be honest, and that was just like the only really annoying part about the whole experience because I didn't expect me walking out of the salon with my hair braided but a wet butt, so... I mean, you live and you learn. But that was my only complaint about the braiding experience. Everything else, like the price was good, the hair, all that. I had a blast. I enjoyed it. It didn't hurt either. I thought for my first time, I know some people are tender headed, so I thought I might have been one of those people, but luckily she was really good. So I didn't have to worry about none of that. How do I feel about the controversy? Well, I don't care. Like, it's hair, and if y'all really that tight about my hair, well, I see you ain't got no real problems in your life if you have the time judging somebody based off their appearance. Like, go do something productive with yourself. Like, you can get a degree, you can spend time with God. And I gotta be honest, God don't judge based off appearance. He judges based off character. So that's gonna be the takeaway of today's because if you still have that mindset, we're judging people based off their appearance. Sweetie, honey, sis. To simply put it, you most likely gonna end up in hell. And I'm not trying to scare you, but I ain't scared to speak on the truth and address the facts in between. Like I said, I'm having mixed kids in the future, so I think it's only right that I learn how to embrace the braided hairstyle so that I can eventually help and teach them in the future. And honestly, I wouldn't have even included this portion in the video, but I wanted to introduce the donkey of the day because I saw this person leave the same comment under two videos. And one of those videos was the one I just dropped about me talking about how God worked miracles in my life, right? I was just really wondering, why would someone think that's cool to post such a comment like that under a video when somebody's talking about God? And on top of that, that comment was irrelevant to that pertaining video and the other one that they left the same comment under, right? I, I'm not sure what that person had against me, but I handled it in a very mature way. And I'm not gonna just block somebody over a comment unlike your favorite YouTubers or celebrities because that's not G. And I'm trying to have y'all, you know, I want you guys to learn how to handle situations in a similar manner because I lead by example. So like I said, I'm not sure why somebody would leave a comment like that under a video when somebody's talking about God. But if you wanna test me, I'm all for it. I'm gonna be on my MGK type time. No, we talk about the action. Text me to Addy, I'm pulling up scrappy. I'm saying, or if you're a dude like the donkey of the day, well, you could take it up with my boyfriend if you have any issues about me. I'm pretty sure he'd be more than happy to give you a hand. But if you're trying to test God, ho, 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 do y'all know where he's gonna send you for doing stuff like that? Now, I don't know if this resonated with anybody, but I'm gonna drop the mic right here. And if you aren't already a part of the community, now is the time to hit that subscribe and notification button right next to it so you never miss another post from me again. I'll see you next time. Hey.